Hello everyone and welcome to JFD's tutorial on the differences between the MetaTrader 4 Plus and 5 Plus platforms. Today we are going to focus on the main menu. Starting with the first tab from the main menu, the file menu. As we can see here in MT5 Plus, the main difference from the drop down options is that we don't have the open offline option anymore. This is because we don't have the offline chart function in the MT5 Plus platform. Moving on to the view menu. In the view drop down, the only difference is that we have the depth of market button. The depth of market can also be seen in the upper left corner in the chart section. So, moving on to insert. The insert menu of MT5 Plus contains indicators, objects, as well as experts and scripts. Moving on to the charts. In the charts section, we have major differences. MT5 Plus has all the same options as MT4 Plus with some additional buttons, beginning with the depth of market, followed by the expert list, which used to be listed in the indicators list in MT4 Plus, but now is a separate button. And then the last difference here is the time frames option. This allows a choice of more time frames that were not available before in the MT4 Plus platform. Moving on to tools. The major difference here is that in MT4 Plus, we have the history center from where you can import or export historical data. However, this option is currently unavailable in MT5 Plus. Instead, we have the strategy tester agents manager button and the meta quotes language code base. Next up is the Windows section. The main two differences in MT5 Plus are that the new window button is missing. However, this menu contains the additional option of resolution. This allows you to set the resolution of the charts in the platform to your personal preference. For example, you may prefer to use the highest resolution if you are dealing with a video. This is it when it comes to the main menu. Thanks for following this tutorial. We have many more on different topics, so keep watching. And if you have any questions, be sure to contact us on the email listed below.